Let's consider this question. The first thing you observe is that both functions are dividing. Hence, we apply quotient rule. Step number one is to leave the denominator constant. Step number two is to differentiate the numerator. And you're going to get two exponential x for this derivative. Next, we're going to keep the numerator constant, which is two exponential x. Next, we're going to differentiate the denominator. From basic derivative table, when you differentiate sine x, you're going to get cos x. Hence, I'm going to have cos x for the derivative of sine x. Next, I will draw a line across the numerator. And the value or the function at the denominator will come back However, according to quotient true formula, the denominator will be squared. Hence, sine x will be squared. We have applied quotient rule to this function. Next is to simplify our result. Next, open up the bracket. Next, factorize 2 exponential x out. And this becomes our dy dx. From the options, our answer is A. This is calculus. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications.